guys, I'm Missy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be um, diving into the Michaela X Glam Light collection. Um, first of all, it's gorgeous packaging. Just, sorry, it's a little reflecto, so I'm trying not to blind you, but the glitter is so freaking cool. Okay, so I got the... Um, entire collection but I didn't get the PR package part of it because it was already sold out but this is the palette gorgeous and then it also came with a highlighter three glosses and two pairs of lashes. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm not going to set that. All right. So. I think what I'm going to work with is obviously the purples. So I think I'm going to start with pot two. This one right here. Oh boy, that's one dip in the pan. I'm dipping back in. This time I'm not going to kick off the excess. I'm dipping very lightly in the pan because I'm afraid of how colorful this is. So I don't want to start out with too much. A beautiful purple. All right, so I think I'm going to try to blend that out with. MJ
will say they do blend nicely. went back in with pot two I'm gonna go back in with MJ again I think I'm going to go in with Frisky to deepen up the outer corner. Go back in with MJ. I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer and put it on the lid. I use this with all my shimmers. doesn't matter what brand. And then I think I'm going to go in with Portuguese first on the outer. And then in 
immaculate. That is so pretty. Love. I love, love, love. And then lastly, I'm going to try manifest. Hopefully that's not a mistake, but mistake okay that was too dark so let me take that off and then go back in with just immaculate in that area hey guys so I'm back and I did remove um, the manifest one that I had there because it was just too dark but I went back in with immaculate all the way in the inner corner uh, I will say that there is a lot of glitter fallout from the shimmers, so definitely would do my eyes instead of my face first next time I use this. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to remove, but... No big deal. Alright, so we're going to just go back in with uh, pot two. Just dip in a little bit. And then we're going to blend our shimmer in to our look. And MJ. Okay. And then and for the lower lash line, I want to go in with. Pot two. And a little bit of frisky on the outer. And then blend that out with MJ. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, off camera, I used Cry Baby in the Waterline from ColourPop. And I used the Code Orange lashes. These are a lot bigger lashes than I normally wear. But I'm actually kind of liking them. Getting me out of my comfort zone. Alright, so now... We're going to try the highlighter in this collection. Which I believe the name of it is Poppin. It doesn't have a name on it, but I believe online it said the name was Poppin. Yeah. 
just use some Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. So I'm just going to dip in here. Pretty. I love highlighters, so this is right up my alley. It's very pow in your face. I'm going to just apply that to my brow bone. Stunning love. Yes. And then my inner corner. Gorgeous. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the lip glosses. I do have Jeffree Star's mannequin on my lips. Give it a little bit of color. I'm more of a lip matte liquid lip person, but I do sometimes wear glosses, so. to give these a try. So first, let's see, we have here. Um, don't think they have names. Interesting. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with this um, nudie looking gloss. Oh wow, okay, that's definitely got some color to it. Definitely a different type of applicator, I don't think I've ever had a gloss with this type of applicator. Okay. Very pretty, very, very good um, everyday color for gloss. So that's this one cute. It's not sticky at all. It's actually really comfortable. I like it. I really like this color. Okay, cool. All right.
right, I am going to wipe this one off and then we're gonna try the other two. Okay, right back, gotta grab a makeup wipe. Okay guys, I am back and I didn't put a liquid lip back on since the first one was so pigmented. So we're gonna try um, this one that looks like a goldy glitter color. Okay, so these are more sheer with just some glitter. Well, this one is. I'm not sure about the other one, but I got a feeling it's probably the same. So the first one I did actually had a color to it, which was a nude color. Again, not sticky, just a gloss. Really pretty, really pretty sheen, goldy sheen to it. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that one off and then we're gonna try the last one. All right, now this one just looks like a clear white sparkle. So this one is just a clear with the white silvery looking sparkles to it. I actually really like this applicator. It fits into your lips and just bends to where you need it. So that is the silvery one and I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to try the first one we did but without the liquid lip underneath so we can see if it's opaque on its own. So yeah, it definitely has some pigment of its own. So there it is with just it. No liquid lip underneath. Still pretty. I do think I'll still wear it with the liquid lip underneath just because I like the extra color. Gorgeous. So... I definitely like this collection. I did have a little trouble working with the purples at first, so I had to wipe it off and then come back and fix it. And like I said, I would definitely do my eyes before doing the eye makeup just because the shimmers have so much glitter in them that I got fallout, <clears throat> excuse me, fallout from them. But other than that, I really like the collection. Like I like the glosses. Um, I might like the other lashes since I believe they're a little fuller than these or a little, yeah, they look a little more voluminous than these, but I do like these. They make my eyes just like pop. 
So, um, if you would please like and subscribe, it really helps my channel. And let me know if you were able to get anything from this collection because I know it sold out pretty quickly. Thanks, guys. Bye.